Hi, I'm Barry. Now that we've got our first coat on the ceiling, we don't be standing around waiting for it to dry. There's lots of other things we can be getting on with. If you look at the skirting boards, they're made of pine. And you can see there's lots of knots present on them. Now, pine is used a lot in construction. It's fast growing, but also one of the problems we've got with it, it contains, or there's lots of knots present on there. Now the knots are where the actual timber has grown or the branches have grown off the tree. Now if we don't seal these, you're going to get little brown circles appearing on your finished paintwork and we don't actually want that. So there's a few products on the market that can stop it. And these are called knotting solutions. So this is a patent knotting and it's traditionally brown. But then for an acrylic system, which we're going to be using on these skirting boards, they've invented a white knotting, which actually dries clear. Now knotting is made from the secretions of the lac beetle. Okay. It's very, very easy to apply. I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of how we do it. So painters, what they do, there's a couple of methods. Make sure this is, keep the lid on it first. Give it a good shake beforehand. Okay, and we're going to be applying two coats of this to our skirting board. And I've just got this piece of timber here just to show you for demonstration purposes. So this is one of two little things that they do. So you can get your brush, get us your small brush, and they actually dip it into the, into the bottle. Okay. Don't apply this too thick, we don't want it to run. So if you just get one of your knots, here's a lovely one here. Let's put that down. And all you need to do is you just paint over it. So on this particular job, and I'll show you three different methods. I've got this one, and then we've got the, the brown one and then I'm going to leave a piece of skirting board so you can actually see what happens after a few weeks with it bleeding through. You can also, if you've got quite a few to do, you can decant it into your kettle and go around the customer's house. So if you've got a big three bedroom house to do, you wouldn't want to carry around a little, a little bottle like this. One of the problems with knotting is it's spirit based. So to clean our brushes out, we have to use methylated spirits. As you can see, it's highly flammable. So, an alternative method to that is that we use a cloth to put our knotting solution on with. It's very easy to apply, just make sure you've got the correct PPE. Here I've got a fantastic pair of gloves. Just get a nice cloth, get our knotting solution, just tip some over it. Okay. Now if you look at this knot that I've got down here, we're not just going to be sealing this knot. There's quite a resinous area here and that will bleed through as well. So, just dab some on. Okay. And this takes roughly an hour to dry. Okay, so we'll be coming and putting two coats on this just to correctly seal it and to make sure that none of them knots are gonna bleed through. On this particular skirting board, we've got six knots. We're going to leave the two at the end without any knotting solution on whatsoever. And you'll see in a few weeks' time how they bleed through and leave these nasty brown rings on your finished paintwork. The other two products that we discussed before, this is the patent knotting, which you'd only really use on a solvent-based system. And then you've got the white knotting. Okay? You can use that on acrylic and the solvent-based. So really, is there any point in buying this one? We're going to be using an acrylic system, so I'm just going to carry on using this. And again, we can apply it with our rag and our cloth, make sure we've got our PPE on. But again, for this instance, I'm just going to apply it with a brush. Now, this can be very, very thin, and we don't want any runs in this, okay? Because we don't want to be sanding it down between any coats. And if we do get runs, we don't wipe them off, you're going to see that on the finished paintwork. So, dead easy to do. Just dip your brush in, wipe it on the edge. Okay. And again, if you've got a lot to do, it's worthwhile decanting it into a kettle. See if I can get a run for you. There, see it? So let's get rid of that. If that happens, just. So now I'm going to carry on and do the rest of the knots. Once that's dry, I'm going to put a second coat of knotting solution on. And again, once that's dry, then we can carry on with the priming. <laughs> 